Welcome to this Notion Second Brain intro video where I'm going to show you what you can expect from this Notion template. So on the left side, we have instructions, we have quick capture, dashboard, inbox, goals, areas, reviews, projects, tasks, resources, notes, archives, habits, journal, and books. And as easy as that, we can easily hide everything from, an, or from our second brain. We can also show them. We can easily access any page in a single click. And uh, yeah, let's let's get through those pages. Okay, so instruction. If you don't know how to use, for example, uh, inbox section, you click on this link, you watch the video, and you learn how. The same goes from goal series or you know whatever whatever you're stuck basically on this template. Then we have a quick capture. If you're using a phone, you can you know add a new task from your rigid, rigid section. You can also add additional ones. So that's really easy way to add things from your phone. Then we have a dashboard which combines all the information from. Uh, from the second brain. So we have area section, we have a personal area. If we click on personal area, we have our goals to that area, find new hobby, we have resources, we have projects, notes. For example, if we want to add new note to this area, we click add, new, add notes, then something, you know, personal note. New note, and here we go. We click on that personal note. We can, you know, adjust things and, and yeah, and it's added to our uh, personal area. Then we go on a quick capture section, uh, the same as here, uh, but in the dashboard view. Then we have a manage goals. Uh, you know, all our goals, which is in progress, not started. You can also add additional filtrations. Uh, if you don't like the section or quick capture section, you can easily delete everything from the dashboard. You can even delete the dashboard, nothing will break. Uh, then we have a uh, projects, we have a home improvement plan, new personal website, which is listed on a timeline. We can easily, you know, move things around here. Uh, reschedule them and stuff like that. We can also click on a home improvement plan to see all the tasks related uh, to that project. We can add a resource to that project. We can add goal to that project. We can uh, select and edit all the properties inside that. Okay, then we have uh, the projects listed beneath. So inbox project, not started project and progress uh, projects. Then we have a tasks. We can easily drag things around, reschedule them complete them so that's you know easy way uh to manage your task and as you can see once we do it here things will change here as well so for example we have a design uh, my website task which is set to tomorrow uh we can you know uh maybe ha maybe we have some kind of uh inbox task we don't have that so let's make um one task that we could you know move around so this my design my website let's remove the date so if it doesn't have a date and it doesn't have, you know, any priority, it's just a blank task, uh, we will see it in an inbox. We have a design my website. So I want to move this task maybe to Friday. I just click and drag and bam, it's in the Friday from my inbox section. Okay, so uh, that's the easy way to manage the task. If you have too many tasks here in a calendar view, you can just click calendar compact and you will see this you know co combined compact view of your task moving down we have resources uh for example youtube channel to learn notion all the properties you know the things to explore things to edit and manage and organize then we have notes with all the fil filtrations inbox notes recent notes draft notes pen notes uh, and yeah we can easily also manage everything uh from your notes then we have at the end this review section where basically you can uh, declutter your workspace. We will uh, move to that page in a second. So once more, inbox. So this is your you know page where you add things from your mind. Basically, whatever is on your mind. I have this resource which you know I just found on YouTube. I click on research and I add it uh, here. And later on, I will move uh, add tasks add dates you know to move from the inbox to specific um uh, specific things okay so same goes for resources projects tasks and notes then we have a goals where we have all our listed goals we can check those goals by status by quarters by in progress not started and you know all the tasks all the goals as well uh, then we see, you know, uh, which area is related to that goal. Then we see, you know, which year it was, which quarter and which month and the status as well. Then we have areas. Uh, once more from the dashboard, if we click on uh, on that area, as we talked before, we see our goals, resources, notes, 
uh, which we added before, if you remember, and we have, you know, we can also add a project. So uh, DRS basically combines everything under, you know, this main category, which is, uh, for, for which is it? So if you have a task, you know, maybe it's a work task, maybe it's a personal task, we can add that area to keep everything organized. Then, then we have a review, which I mentioned before. So this is our past week's progress. So I recently added personal note and it shows up here that this week I added this note, this week maybe I added that task or project or resources. So it's just a nice way to uh, basically just to look, okay, what why, what I have done uh, during this week. Then we have, you know, this declutter your workspace section where we have this home improvement plan that we completed. And, you know, if we don't longer want to see it, we can cl just click archive and it's gone and, and it will be gone from here. Okay, then we have prepared for next week. Maybe we want to add some new resources, new projects or new tasks and new notes. We can do that from here as well. Then we move to projects. The same timeline as you saw in the dashboard, but this is the main database page. So don't delete this <laughs> because this is important. Uh, we have new personal website project. We can move this project around. Okay, we can reschedule it. We can expand uh, the deadline and, and yeah, we can also click on this new personal pro uh, website. We can see all the tasks. We see the progress. If we start to complete the tasks, the progress, you know, will increase. Uh, and yeah, basically we can add resources, we can add goals. So this is really, really also convenient way to manage our projects. Also as well beneath, we have all projects inbox, not started in progress and archived. Okay. So we archived home improvement plan, which is archived and this doesn't show here, but if we, you know, untick it, we see that home improvement plan was completed um, one week ago, okay? So tasks, we have this calendar compact view and full view, the same uh, task view that I showed you in the dashboard, but this is the main database page. Yeah, uh, same here, uh, same thing here as well. All the inbox, all the date, upcoming, overdue, all the fil filtrations. If you see that, uh, if you click on upcoming, we can see that we have create logger type, you know, which is tomorrow. We can see here if I complete it, it's gone from here. We, sh we see, can see next seven day tasks. Um, we can click on a task, you know, add a project, add a goal, add a priority to that. Uh, uh, to that task and yeah be, it's basically easily managed then we have resources we have a tax for those resources so maybe you know there is a tag uh, maybe this is a resource i mean which is a book so we can add a, a tag for a book maybe it's a course we can add that we can maybe it's a tool for example we can add a tool as you can see here notion ultimate finance tracker uh, and we can we can click on the tag and we can see all the resources listed here as well so that's also really really is a way to manage all your resources and filter it them. Then we have a notes. Once more, we have a notebooks. Uh, so for example, if you have some kind of, you know, note, uh, specifically for, I, I mean, if you have a multiple uh, notes specifically for some kind of, you know, thing, you can add that to the notebook. So if you have a home improvement plan and you have like a bunch of notes, you can add them here. So home improvement, home improvement notebook and note how to declutter home okay so that's also a really easy way to manage your information basically then we have archive all the archive pages will show here so we can do this one more thing uh, one more time home improvement plan archive go to archive and you can see in the projects home improvement plan is listed here okay if uh, basically whatever you don't need uh, and don't want to see anymore you just archive and you will see it here but you will only see it here it, it will not show anywhere else so it makes really easy to use your uh second brain without decluttering anything okay because if you add more a lot of tasks and then it's kind of you know hard to manage all the data but you can also um, access it from here anytime then we have three additional uh, additional pages habits journal and book so these are additional pages that just this is not connected to the uh, second brain system but it's really nice uh, things to use on your everyday life so we have a habits so we have my habits uh, listed all here so you know meditation workout blah 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 uh, you can you know write description uh, why are you trying to achieve this habit and stuff like that we can see the progress which habits are in progress which are not started so Right now, meditation or workout and eat health is in progress. If you scroll down, we can see the um, the tags I added here as well. I, I mean, not the tags, the, the habits. Um, then we have, you know, our routines like, okay, how I'm going to achieve these habits in the morning. I'm going to meditate and eat healthy. In the midday, I'm going to work out and eat healthy. In the evening, I'm only going to eat healthy. And then what you do, basically, you have this, you know, created this... Um, 
this page created every day. So today I haven't checked anything. So I click, okay, I done my workout. Okay, I meditated. Okay, I eat it healthy. And you know, you just thick, thick uh, things down. Uh, complete these checkboxes and you know you set some kind of period uh okay i'm going to do this for one, one month and then i'm going to you know change our my habits because i i, I think I, I achieved them okay so this is a really nice way you know to stay motivated because now nothing is you know ticked but imagine everything is ticked it's just a really nice way you know to, to, to be basically in your habits. Then we have a journal. Inside the journal, we have the reflections, daily moments. So these are the ways where you can reflect on your day and collect those daily moments. Maybe, you know, something amazing happened or maybe something bad happened and you want to understand, you know, what influenced your mood. So good, mo good moments, bad moments. For example, you know, I went surfing, very happy. Uh, and uh, yeah, and basically you just, you know, every day once more, uh, these pages are being created. You go here, you click on on this page, write things down, you know, reflect on your day and click on complete it. And yeah, and tomorrow repeat the same thing. Or if you don't want to do that, you can just delete the journal, nothing will break as well. Then we have a books. We have, you know, books organized by genres. So we have all the bus business books. We see that we have three books, fictional books, total books zero. And we have, you know, our reading books. Uh, so for example, from Company One, I'm reading now by Paul Jarius. And I have two pages left um, and four minutes remaining. So these two pages left and four minutes remaining and the progress is calculated automatically. What you need to do is just insert the total pages and your current page. So that's all. All the other things will be calculated uh, automatically, okay? And then we have a quotes because, you know, when you're reading a book, uh, we want to highlight that uh, specific, you know, paragraph and it most of the times gets lost in the book because we, you know, barely open them. But this is the place where you can always see those, you know, really, really amazing words uh, and know exactly from which book it came from. So, yeah. So... So that's pretty much, you know, the, the, the really quick look at this notion second brain. I really uh, hope uh, it makes sense <laughs> why I created this and how I created this and really hope you will try it out. So, yeah. So thank you for spending 20 uh, minutes with me uh, exploring this notion second brain day. And yeah, have a nice day.